Let's go jump hunting. What's happening people? We're here today for another episode of CJ Works. We are here at the headquarters of Deliver Me, which is one of the UK's fastest growing tech companies who deliver anything on demand. That's right, anything. So if you need a sandwich and you're busy doing some work, Deliver Me can deliver that sandwich to you within a very, very short space of time. Now, I am very much looking forward to this episode because I'm gonna learn kind of how to use a scooter, how to get things delivered in a certain time period. I've never ridden a scooter before, so this will be a very exciting challenge for me. Let's get to work, let's go job hunting. Is it the sort of thing you want me to do today? So we're gonna have you out on the road and actually doing some orders for us. Wow, that's a bit So pressure. we've got our delivery bag for you. So I'll be going, to, so I'll get a message. Mm -hmm. So you'll download our rider, right? Yeah. You'll get a, uh, as soon as that order comes in, you'll get that signed straight away to you. And then you'll go to that shop, buy the item for the customer, and then okay. deliver it to the customer. Wow, okay. And is there a certain time frame? Yeah, you have half an hour. Yeah, it'll be quick then. It'll be quick then. Right then guys, so I've just had a little bit of a practice just going around the car park. It's actually a lot easier than it seems. I'm still a little bit apprehensive about going on the road. No pain, no gain they say, but I'm hoping that it's no pain. Um, just had an amazing message through on the app to say that someone's looking for an AirTag from the Apple Store. Now, I don't really know what one of those is, but I'm assuming that it's something that you'll put on your keychain or on your phone and then you beep it so that people can find out where it is. So I've got to follow the directions on the app and it will take me straight to the Apple store in the city centre. Let's go job hunting. I've just had a quick look at the time. We've been riding for about 10 minutes and I have been going at a bit of a snail's pace, to be honest. I don't want to kind of bump into anyone or fall off the bike. Um, they, they are kind of uh, very expensive bikes, to be honest. So I don't want to uh, be the one to destroy it. Um, we're about five minutes away from the Apple store. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get in there. I don't know if there's going to be a queue or anything like that. I haven't pre-ordered it. I haven't phoned up in advance. So big respect to the riders here because I've been driving on the pavement they're probably be driving on the road um, and it will probably actually make sure they get there a bit quicker. So I've got to make sure I'm just getting there within the 30 minutes allotted time because that's how much time you're supposed to get the delivery out of the shop and to the customer. So I've got about 20 minutes to get this all going. So uh, enough talking from me and let's get riding. So I'm at the Apple store now, ready to go inside. Like I say, I don't know how long the queue's gonna be. Hopefully, I can get in and out within the next two, three minutes. Let's get it. I've just gone to pay for it. I left my phone on the scooter. So, a little bit of urgency. I've just gone and picked up the air tags with the Deliver Me card. So you just scan this, put in a couple of details and you're on your way. I'm gonna put this in my bag actually to make sure that I don't lose it. It's probably not the biggest thing you'd put in here, but I don't wanna lose it. Cause then if you lose it, that's the customer's item gone. You have to come back and uh, get another one, but not ideal. So that's in the bag, get that up. Okay, so actually it wasn't too long. It was uh, a lot shorter than expected in the, sh in the store. It took about five minutes. So we've got about 10, 15 minutes to go now to get back to the customer um, 
shouldn't take too long. So pretty, pretty optimistic that I'll do a good job and get there within the half an hour. <laughs> Right, I've made it in about 25 minutes. I'm just at the place where the customer will be. I'm just about to give them a quick call so they can come out and collect their item. Hi, yeah, it's just the deliver me driver. Yeah, I'm just outside with your item. If you could just pop down. Thank you. So 25 minutes to the store, got the item, got to the customer in time. I'm pretty happy with that. We had 30 minutes and I've done it in 25. So deliver me. If you want me, you can have me. I am going to get back on the bike and get back to the deliver me headquarters. If you were wondering what happens with the receipt, I would upload a photo to the uh, Deliver Me app and then that gets sent to the, to the customer. So everything's a smooth transaction and it's really easy to, to get involved. So I'm gonna jump back on the bike and get back to the Deliver Me headquarters. I think you were great. You, you completed the order in 25 minutes, which is on time, exactly what we wanted. But one thing I did notice is from tracking you uh, on our admin side is you did unlock the bike. So uh, we saw that you went to the store, you didn't unlock it, and then we, you went to the customer's address and you didn't unlock the bike. So anyone could have you know, stolen one of our shiny new bikes. Uh, that's only one complaint, but I'll let you off because uh, we only onboarded you for 10 minutes. We normally have a long uh, a day of onboarding, so they'll go through everything from learning how to use the bike, how to use the app, and really get them uh, you know, used to the processing system that we have in place. So today I have been on quite a journey Literally, I've been cycling around town trying to get these items, well, trying to get this item to the customer. Um, it's been quite a good experience for me because I typically tend to work from home quite a lot. So reading emails, firing emails, reading plays, um, scripts and all those sorts of things. So for me to get outside and, and do something a little bit more physical, that was really good for me. Um, I'm not sure if it's, if it's the job for me. I know I'm still on the job hunt, but uh, it's something that I can definitely see the value in. I think it's great to be outdoors. It's great to be active. And I think it's a really great kind of platform to be able to provide opportunities for, for young people, potentially, you know, students, people who might just want a little bit of a flexible job, a flexible income. Um, it's really, really useful for them and particularly for people in the creative sector as well. Um, you know, if they haven't kind of, uh, you know, managed to get a, a stable income at that point, this is a great job to, to get you on your feet, uh, get you doing something active and, and get your brainwaves going because whilst you're on the bike, you could be thinking of, of all sorts of creative ideas and you, you meet people on, on that journey as well. So yeah, just on reflection, I think it's, uh, it's been a great day, a great opportunity for me to try something different. And that's what this show is all about. It's about showing what's out there, showing the, the, the kind of different roles that you could, you could find yourself in. I think in life, we, we sometimes think that there's a linear path, but there are jobs like this out there that are flexible and can provide opportunities for a bright future. So that's it for this episode. Until next time, let's go job hunting.